Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, worship team. Will that, go ahead and have a seat. Man, won't that be a glorious day when we can truly spend all of our time worshiping him forever and forever and forever. Isn't it? Man, this is. Isn't it just like God? To bring all things together to make everything right. I can tell you this um, from a personal perspective before we get started. Uh, I've been in a place the last few months where every facet of my life is at maximum stress level all the time. But here's what I can tell you. Through the wonderful men that I work with, through the leaders in my life, I've been able to work through it. And I'm still working through it. Um, to Pastor Chris, I want to take one second. I know you're not going to toot your own horn ever. God bless you for it. Thank you for what you do for this flock. Especially messages like that this morning, you were preaching in my kitchen, brother. I needed that. If you, do, if you were not at church this morning, you were unable to make it, go back and watch that message because you, you missed something. And I have one question before we get into this. How's your faith, church? How's your faith? I can say this, as a human being, mine wavers sometimes, but here's what, I, here's what I have for you. I have a definition of faith. Hebrews 11 and 1 says this, Now, faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. I want to read that in another version. I don't normally read the Amplified Version, but I love the way it, it lays out in the Amplified Version. Now, faith is the assurance, the title, the deed, the confirmation of things hoped for, for divinely guaranteed and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality, faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. What we can't see, what we can't touch, our faith guarantees as fact. That's a big deal. What I can say is this. I am not who I was yesterday. I am not who I was 15 years ago. I am not a recovering alcoholic. I am redeemed. Wesley Buchek is redeemed. Wes, come up here. Did you hear that, Wes? Divinely guaranteed. What we cannot feel with the physical senses, what we cannot realize with the physical senses is guaranteed through faith in Christ. You are redeemed. You are a twice born son of the king. Walk in it, brother. Go to your next step and show them who Christ is. Wesley, it has been a privilege to watch you walk through this. This is to certify that Wesley Buchek has successfully completed the Heartland Men's Recovery Program, a course of spiritual and personal restoration administered by Heartland Community Church and is hereby recognized for such achievement. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Congratulations, Wes. Thank you guys very much. Um, I wanted to start out by, by thanking um, the council Pastor Chris, Mrs. Lori, for having the, the boldness in the face of uncertainty to keep this thing going. Um, I wanted to thank all the group leaders. Mr. Richard uh, Heitman, J.C. Morgan, um, Dwayne Aldridge, Zach McPike. <clears throat> I wanted to James, <clears throat> Big James, um, also, Josh Wood, he's, he's not a group leader, but he's always, he's always there to give us encouraging words in the men's center. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to read, I've got a little speech wrote, written. Uh, 
It says, uh, I've seemed to have had a series of unfortunate, or a series of events that's caused me a great deal of pain. I had stopped loving myself and just about given up completely. Claiming to be an atheist, but had nothing factual to support my belief. I had developed a, fear, a serious drinking problem on April 30th, 2023. <clears throat> I caused a head-on collision I can only thank God that I'm told the victim in the car I hit wasn't injured. Uh, I was in a coma for, for a couple days after this car accident. I had suffered uh, bleeding on my brain. I had split my skull, fractured my ankle, broke my toes along with my leg, and I was airlifted to Barnes Jewish Hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. <clears throat> While they cared for me, the social worker found a real rehabilitation center in Rolla, Missouri, accepting my medical coverage. This is where God started working on me. The speech therapist asked if she could pray for me and told me the most important thing I could do was start a relationship with Jesus. <clears throat> the, uh, the activities director also encouraged me and started talking to me about God. He encouraged me to go to church. The, wo the woman in the admissions office also talked to me about God. She mentioned her husband here in, um, in Heartland was in recovery. She, she helped me apply and, and, uh, and personally brought me here. <clears throat> she asked me if, if Heartland seemed like something I'd be interested in. I, I told her yes. This is where God started working on me. I got here, my head was spinning. I said, okay, God, here I am. <clears throat> what should I be doing? So I confessed, my, I confessed my sins and started praying for forgiveness. Started meditating on God's word to change my heart. <clears throat> be still, submit to God's will, now stand firm. I, I start getting properly focused, learning that all of us have been created by God to bring him honor through serving humanity and community with love. Becoming a man more self-aware, building characteristics of effectiveness and becoming productive. Over the last year, I've been saved, baptized, and born again. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Jesus came into this world and offered his life as a sacrifice for, for us so that through his death on the cross, we enter into a relationship with God himself. Keep in mind, he's coming back one day to take care of all the, the, all the little small problems. <clears throat> in the meantime, God has put the welfare of humanity and, and community in our hands, like in the beginning of the Garden of Eden. <clears throat> this time, though, he recreates us so that our lives are a gift to humanity. We are God's strategy for creating a better world. In the parable of the ten, the ten bridesmaids, there are aspects of the creative process hinted at. God empowers us to fulfill, calls us to accomplish, and holds us accountable to carry out. You have to act. You have to execute when God gives you the opportunity for stewardship in your life. Jesus warns us that we don't want to be we don't want to be found empty-handed. The parable of the ten bridesmaids makes it clear that that God holds us accountable. He expects us to be awake and prepared. It takes discipline, and it and you cannot be a light if you don't have any oil. Jesus tells the second parable. The kingdom of heaven is seen in the <clears throat> the kingdom of heaven is seen in the man giving his servants talents to invest while he's away. In the parable, in this parable, there's a higher intensity level. <clears throat> if you are uncertain whether we're supposed to be creative, read this one carefully. You're supposed to initiate and create. We will be held accountable for what we do. <clears throat> and the talent that God has given us. To waste, to waste what God has given us is a shame to God and a disservice to, human, to humanity. I now, 
I now see I've been trusted with a great gift, my life. And God, my life is God's gift to me and to the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Heartland. I love you guys. Could I have the Men's Center staff and the residents come up here, please? so grateful on this day that we celebrate our freedom, that we're here to celebrate the freedom that you initiated upon the cross, Lord God, on behalf of Wesley Buchek, Lord Jesus. Lord God, may the blessings of heaven fall upon his life in a mighty and miraculous way that, that the enemy cannot come against because, Lord God, greater is he who is in him than he that is in the world. And, Lord God, your glory will be seen in his life as he has glorified you on this day, Lord God. Let it be so for on every single day of his life. Let him step into your perfect will for his life. Let him encounter you every single day, Lord God. Please surround him, holy angels of God, holy angels of heaven. Keep him and, and guide him, Holy Spirit. Lead him in through the things that he has to do in this life. The next steps, Lord God, are going to be crucial for him. And so, Lord, we're thanking you that every step is directed by you because he has your word in his mouth, your word in his heart, your word in his mind. And, Lord God, I've seen it renew his mind. I've seen the word of God change him. I've seen the word of God transform this life, Lord God. And so let it continue. Let it continue on, Lord God. We're giving you the honor and glory and praise and thanks for what you've done in this life. And we're thankful for having met meeting this man of God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.